guys and welcome back to my channel so as you guys can tell by the title so today's video is going to be me telling you guys everything that i did to lose 20 pounds in one month it's your girl real j wells if you didn't know now you know if you're new to my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you're returning honey what's good i had posted like my before and after pictures so the pictures that i showed you guys at the beginning of this video i posted them on my social media and i got so many questions about what i did and how i lost the weight so i was like you know what let me just put it all into a video so if you're interested to see the things that i did or have me tell you guys the things that i did to lose 20 pounds in one month then stay tuned and keep on watching the first thing uh, that I did before even starting was I set a goal and I decided why I wanted to do it and I feel like this is really important and that's why I um, started with this is because with anything you have to pretty much set a goal um, and whether it's how much weight you want to lose whether it's how you want to look whatever you whatever your reason is some people just want to be more toned or some people just want to be healthy. Some people want to do it because they're trying to boss up and look good. You know, it's so many different reasons as to why people want to do it. Maybe you want to get into a pair of jeans that you love and you can't fit them no more. Just find you a reason as to why you want to do what you're doing and set that goal because when you're in the midst of it and things get hard if you don't have a reason why you're doing it that's what makes you give up because you're like what am i even doing this for so set you a goal and know why that you're doing it so the next thing that i did was intermittent fast y'all i always talk about this if you're not new to my channel and you've seen some of my previous weight loss videos then you already know i swear by intermittent fasting even before when i wasn't like eating the most healthy and stuff like that i still intermittent fasting i swear by intermittent fasting and i'll leave a video up above for you guys where i talk in more in depth about intermittent fasting now i usually do like two to eight i really try not to eat past 8 p.m no matter whenever i no matter when i start eating i really don't like to eat past 8 p.m so watch the video that i have about intermittent fasting it'll go more into detail as to how many hours you can fast um the different types of intermittent fasting just watch that if you have a no idea about intermittent fasting so the next thing that i did was eat 800 to a thousand calories a day and i know some people will be like that is not that much and that's not mm -mm. this is what i did you guys i am not a like it, uh, like I'm not certified expert, but this is just what I did to lose the weight. So I ate 800 to a thousand calories a day and I would have a cheat meal every week. And I mean a cheat meal, not a cheat day, not a cheat day, you guys, a cheat meal. That's what worked for me as far as, you know, what you're eating you don't have to eat bad foods like if that's what you want to do and you only want to have one meal that's a, a 800 calories or a thousand calories i mean you can do that one meal a day like just however you want to do it i count calories i don't do like keto or count my macros or none of that i don't do any of that because i want to have what i want to have if i want to have a chip i want to have a chip if i want some fruit then I'm going to eat it. I want to eat what I want to eat. And I just count the calories. And that's just period. So the next thing that I did was work out at least six days a week. Y'all, this is what I did. This is just what I did. Because I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, no, that is just too much. But honestly, you guys, I kind of look at it more like working out is not as bad as people think and i always i wasn't always like oh my gosh i gotta be in a gym like i honestly like work going to the gym like i feel like it helps your day go better it makes you happier and it's also helping you lose the weight like i feel like the gym is just a win-win you don't have to 
do all these extreme workouts that you see like bodybuilders and stuff do. You don't have to do that. You can start with a simple regimen and work your way up, build yourself up. No, it's not going to be easy starting off going to the gym, but the longer you do it, the more you'll get used to it and the more it'll become a part of your routine and you're going to be like, my day didn't go right because I didn't go to the gym because that's what you always do. It just becomes a habit and you just do it. Also, I wanted to add as far as working out, if you don't want to work out, you know, six days a week, which is that's what I did. I um, advise you to like increase the intensity of your workout. So, for example, like if you're starting off, you may like to walk as well. But let's say you like to walk increase the time that you walk like the amount of time that you walk because some people will do like an incline walk for 20 minutes or 15 minutes 30 minutes but if you're not going to the gym as much i think that you should increase how much you're doing your incline walk so maybe 45 minutes you know or do two different types of cardio because i know sometimes it can be it can get a little boring i, I can't even lie so yeah make sure you do cardio also make sure that you do ab workouts you guys and also make sure that you lift weights um, I'm going to do more video, more videos in depth, like as far as workouts, because you don't want to go to the gym and then not really know what you're going to be doing. Go to the gym with a purpose. No, I'm going to be doing this, this and that, because just walking around looking at stuff does nothing but kill time. Like you're just wasting time and you're not even burning any calories or burning any of that food that you got. The next thing I want to say, the last thing I want to say about uh, working out is to interchange your cardio, which this is something that I struggle with because once I start doing something, like if I have a routine, I pretty much like to stick with that. So I like the treadmill for my cardio. I love to gravitate towards the treadmill because the treadmill is my comfort zone. I don't know. I just, I just like the treadmill. But interchanging your types of cardio, so like maybe doing the Stairmaster one day, the treadmill the next day, and even if it's just two, just going back and forth because then your body never gets used to what you're doing. So sometimes you'll do something for two weeks, like you're dropping the weight, pants falling off, then you notice you're not losing any weight. Like you feel like your body is just not changing. And it's just because whatever routine you've been doing, your body is used to it. So now you got to switch it up, you know, give your body a shock. Like, okay, now I'm doing something different. Now I'm working a different muscle. Now I'm doing something different. The next thing that I did to lose 20 pounds in one month is a drink a gallon of water a day. You guys, this is important. Like I know you guys hear um, a lot of people talk about you need to drink water, drink a lot of water, 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 water. But water is really, really, really important. And I drink a lot of water and I really notice a difference. Like when I, when I drink a lot of water, my skin has gotten so much better. Y'all, I used to have horrible acne, but my skin has gotten so much better. And I feel like it flushes you out. Like when I ate something bad, I will definitely make sure I drink lots of water because I feel like, you know, it's flushing all of that bad stuff up out of my body. And I don't want to wake up and my stomach be bloated. So drink you lots of water. It helps and aids in weight loss, you guys. It's very, very important. So the next thing that I have for you guys is to detox your body. Um, I say you could drink like tea they you can look at like a natural tea but they have detox teas um apple cider vinegar apple cider vinegar is actually a great detox and also if you're detoxing do not do it every day there's no need to detox every single day that's not good for your body but i do recommend that you detox because when you detox it helps to get the stubborn stuff that didn't want to come out it gets that stuff out you know what i'm saying <laughs> so make sure that you work out like working out is important and eating is important as well also you guys i want to say i didn't drink any um drinks 
unless it was like a cheat meal, I would drink a drink. But honestly, I try not to drink drinks. Like today I had a cheat meal and I didn't drink any drinks. I just try to stay away from it because I feel like it's just unnecessary calorie. It's like a drink has like 200 calories in it. Like that's just a waste of calories when it's, I mean, it's not even food. It's not even going to give you any type of energy. Also, no sweets. And when I say sweets, I mean like candy, Debbie cakes, stuff like that is not good for you. But the type of sweets that I recommend is like fruits. I love fruit. And my favorite is pineapples, y'all. I, I mean, I swear that pineapple tastes like candy to me. Like it's candy to me. So just try to look at food in a whole different aspect because you're really just eating food to get the energy but food is good it's not supposed to be nasty y'all i don't eat nasty food i'm not i'm not eating anything that i don't like also also you guys do not eat any fried foods i didn't eat any fried foods either unless it was a cheat day I mean, a cheap meal. That's the only time I would eat fried foods. I love potatoes. So if I had like French fries and stuff, yeah, I love French fries as well. Um, I would air fry them, which air frying is good. But when I say fried, I mean like deep fried in grease. I know a lot of people don't know, but the oil that they fry it in is what as all of the calories okay guys so that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope that it helps you guys let you guys know things that you can do so that you're able to reach your fitness goals and maybe even lose 20 pounds in a month like i did so i love you guys so much and make sure you like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and let me know down below if these tips help you guys if anything that i did you incorporate into your lifestyle and it helps you i would love for you guys to comment down below and let me know i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. love you guys